The thing is, some of these documents are not relevant anymore. So, for example, we have security response plan policy. Let me explain something so you guys can understand what I'm talking about, and then we'll go into this uh, system. Most company these days, let's say you have a company, and back in the days, people use email. So they use email, and people react on the emails, and that's it. <laughs> The problem with email is that every employee is, they have access to um, the email service of the company and they get email on behalf of the name. Yeah, They get email on the domain name of the company. That's technically it. If you send an email, it's important that you meet the requirement policy of the company. That's not the problem. So back in the days, they work with email. But nowadays, Companies still work with emails, but they prefer to work with a ticket system. A ticket system is um, a system. It can be like Freshdesk or whatever. You have a lot of them out there. And what it means is customer has a problem. They um, create a ticket. And the ticket, a lot of employees have access to the ticket. And when something goes wrong or the employee cannot respond on the employee, um, not a, yeah, another person can react on it. That's technically it. Um, the best thing about this is it will send automatically an email to the customer and the customer can react on the email and the email will come into the service. A um, famous company that used this is Hot, um, Hotspot. If I'm correct, they're using a ticket system and it's worked well. And a lot of companies using Hotspot because it's free. If you're starting out, you're doing a business, you use hotspot, it's good. The ticket system sent an email. And the nice thing about this, if um, if someone is not available, you can just give the um, ticket to someone else. That's the nice thing about it. With email, you need to get, um, someone need to get access to the email or a lot of people need to have access to the email. That's the problem. So here you have a level of security, you have an admin and you have a moderator, if I'm correct. and yeah, you have different level. They call it different names, different companies. And the admin have access to everything. And the moderator also. It depends the level that you have. And this system works really well. And a lot of companies are starting to use it. But not a lot of companies know about it. Even individuals, um, if they are, um, if they have their own company and they have some people working for them or some freelancer, they give some freelancer access minimum access to react on ticket for uh for the company um you let's say you're a developer you create an app and people have question about the app and you hire a freelancer to react on those questions and yeah you give them the minimum level and they can react on it so that's the nice thing about this system and it will integrate with the email and the email sent to this system the only downside is with the system, as soon as they hack the system and if they have admin level access, they can get every information that you have. And most of the time you don't want that. So technically they work with this ticket system and there are a lot of uh, ticket system out there and other ways, other systems, but this is one of them you see a lot. 